10.30 a.m. Saturday morning, residents of the Oldonyo Sabuk area at the border of Thika and Kangudo districts hear a loud noise from the sky above, but there's no aircraft in sight. Instead, a strange object whose appearance left many puzzled. <laughs> Army officers at the Thika barracks were quickly put on alert. So initially we thought it was uh, Kundambina an aircraft because uh, that is uh, within the, the flight the flight area of uh, both military and uh, commercial aircraft. So we mobilized our people, our personnel to move towards that general area and uh, see if it was an aircraft so that we could carry out uh, search and rescue. Shortly, they received a phone call from police informing them that a foreign object had fallen about 15 kilometers from the Del Monte Kenya factory. When we arrived here, the first thing we did was, uh, after we sighted uh, where the object fell, was to seal the area to make sure it is safe for an engine not to come in because we didn't know what it was. So we realized that it was a rock, the one I have here, this piece of rock. The object had made a small crater on impact about 6 inches deep and 12 inches wide. Lieutenant Colonel James Vungo confirmed that the object was not man-made. Somebody may, be, may have a conception that it is a bomb or something or a missile. No, 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 no. This is a rock from the initial assessment. This is not a bomb or something man-made. However, if it is indeed a meteorite, there is a high probability most of it burnt up in space. So it is very rare to, maybe to have them, uh, when I, I'm talking here in Kenya, it is very, I mean, very rare actually. Every residents overcome by curiosity had touched the object before the police and the military arrived on the scene, something the army officers warned against. In 2007, about 200 villagers in Peru fell ill with arsenic poisoning when they came in contact with a large meteorite. Lieutenant Colonel Vungo has since moved the object to the military geologist for further analysis. Anso Imwendia, KTN Saturday night.